tuning today. Meet these fans. So L99 car. 2012. Car was completely stock when it came in. And we did a uh, we did some long tube headers on it. Inch seven eighths to off-road connection pipes. Uh, Rotofab cold air. We did a fast intake manifold. We got a 160 thermostat in it. And I'm doing some tuning. And that's pretty much it. Basically just kind of a basic bolt-on deal here. So um, convertible car. Like I said, it's an automatic, so it is an L99. It does have the, I believe it does have a cat back on it too, like a GM Performance. But it does still have that big, that big giant resonator that the automatic cars have. So it is, that muffles, muffles them down a little bit, but the headers definitely open it up. So that does help. So, so yeah, I just did a couple uh, half pulls. That was my first full pull. That's where we are at right now. The 336 was baseline. That's where it came in when it was completely stock. That's my first full pull there. I got a, I'm a little aggressive on the timing. Knock sensors are kind of coming in a little bit, so I'm gonna pull some timing back out of it. The fueling is pretty good. I gotta richen it up a little bit in the top. Um, otherwise, that's looking pretty good so far. We've already, we're already up 30 horsepower. So typically we wanna see, with these mods, we wanna see about you know 35 to 40 at the wheels of a, of a gain. That's, that's where we usually end up on these automatic cars. So I'm, a, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna set the camera back down. And we're gonna do a couple more pulls and uh, we'll see where we can end up with this. Obviously this lower blue line is the baseline, so I will take out the uh, the rest of this stuff so we can kind of look just at two graphs here. Those are all my working runs. Go to my baseline and my final. And there you have it. So this is a... Uh, this car is out of Wisconsin, and Wisconsin only has 91 octane, and I can definitely tell that in the logs. I'm, uh, you know, I'm down low 20s, and we can look at the log here in a sec, but I'm down low 20s, and in the mid-range here, it's it's only taking 21, 22 degrees to try to keep the knock sensors happy. Um, and I'm able to ramp some timing into it at the, at the very end, when the, once the... Once the VE starts to drop off and the, the air mass starts to drop off, I can add some more timing in. And, and uh, but otherwise, that's a pretty that's a pretty big you know close to 40 horsepower, 37 horsepower just about. And it looks like we got 40 some foot pounds of torque gain there, 43 foot pounds or so. So yeah, I mean that's again that's that's kind of a uh, bolt-on deal, you know, headers, cold air, intake manifold, and a thermostat. So nothing too crazy. Uh, I, I did all support the throttle body. I forgot to mention that also. So, but you can see even you know you're picking up, you're picking up pretty decent amounts of torque down the bottom here. You know, it looks like we probably picked up, you know, 20, 20 foot pounds of torque even down at 2,500 RPM. And obviously, you get the the, the headers really, the gain that that big jump in power here. That's partially the intake manifold too, but this, the headers really do a lot of this, and intake manifolds are what's help holding the power out too. So. 
kind of these extra little steps of power you're getting to at the end that fast intake so so yeah that's uh that's a pretty nice jump that's definitely a noticeable jump in power you know when you add add 10 percent power like that you're gonna feel it so it's about a 10 percent jump in horsepower so so we can take a quick look at the log again for you guys that like to nerd out about data logs and what's going on here um, So there's the day log, yeah, you can see the timing line. I'm only 21. I got, I mean, and, and the knock sensors are still nibbling a little bit here, just a smidge. So, um, and when he comes to pick the car up, I'm gonna ask him about the fuel he's running too, because sometimes, you know, guys are used to putting 87 in their stuff and, and maybe their other cars and they get in the Camaro and drive down to the gas station, want to top it up and they forget to push the 91 button, they hit the 87 button and they're not paying attention, but you never know. It is kind of low. Normally I'm running mid, you know, 20, yeah, 23, 24. 93 octane, eat a 10% ethanol, even on a bolt on L99, I'm 20, yeah, I'm 24, 25 in the mid range. And I can get as high as 28 here. I was only able to get to about 26 degrees at the top end. So it's definitely not taking as much timing as you know what I normally see but again normally the cars were, were I'm tuning are 93 octane I don't do a lot of stuff that's 93 octane with that 10% ethanol and that does make a big difference you wouldn't think it would but that extra 10% ethanol it really goes a long way even on a bolt-on you know L99 like this so everything else is looking pretty good though um, air fuel that's where they're that's where these bolt-on L99 cars are happy High, high point eights for Lambda. So you can see I'm point nine there, point eight eight. And you know, they like to be high 12s, 13 O's, about where that air fuel ratio is, and that's where they, these like to run. So um, that's where they make the most power. So, so yeah. Another one in the books. This will be a fun little car. I got the trans dial in pretty good already. Um, you know, firm up the shifts a little bit. Obviously I can raise the shift points up just a smidge. When we do those bolt-ons, the power carries out a little bit better. So I raise the shift points up, you know, 150, 200 RPM, maybe about 150 RPM, just to just to kind of hold the gears out a little bit, um, firm the shifts up, and but otherwise, you can drive it around. You're not really going to know it's got anything until you, you know, step on the go pedal. So thanks for watching, guys. That'll wrap this one up, and we'll see you later.